Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Ramana Jamuri. Thank you, Jenny and Wendy, for organizing everything. Um, I'm sorry that uh, we are unable to show any videos uh, of my lab because um, I myself have not seen my lab. I moved to a different institution during COVID, um, so I, I did not even get an opportunity to see the uh, to see the lab. But uh, my PhD student is here, and she'll be presenting about our research. Um, but if you're missing a video in our uh, in our presentation, you can take 25% of Pepe's lab, 25% of Marco's lab, fuse it together, and you'll see our lab. <laughs> okay, uh, over to Dingy. Thank you so much again. All right, hello everyone. I'm the PhD student from the SMC lab. Uh, I cannot give a really high level introduction to our lab. I'm gonna share my screen. All right, uh, welcome to our lab. Um, our advisor is Dr. Romana Ridgeway, and we are from the Department of Computer Science and Electrical Engineering of the UNBC. And our lab is focusing on the brain, uh, the brain control of the hand movement. And we start our research from uh, two basic questions. And the first is the how the human brain could control the upper limb, especially the hands, which cover the most mobility of the activity of daily life. And another one is how the human hands would provide the feedback to the, the human brain and how the central nervous system could update and improve the movement by using those feedbacks. And I figured that about, to answer that question, we have two approaches. One is from the brain to the hand, um, by understanding the new representations uh, of the specific hand movements. <clears throat> When, they're, uh, when subjects are doing the specific hand movements, we're gonna observe their neural changes by using the technical devices like the ECOG system, uh, which is our advisor user in during his postdoc research, and the EMG EEG system, which is currently using in our lab. And also we have some collaborations with the other groups uh, for the patients with the uh, the movement disorders like the Parkinson's disease or the stroke and to see their functional changes in their brain. And also another approach is to from the hand to the brain. We capturing the hand movement during this when the subject doing the specific tasks and to, can, to figure out the controlled mechanisms behind those hand movements. And we improve the offer a computational algorithms by using the machine learning algorithms and also they understand the mechanism, mechanisms of the movement using the synergies, which will assume that, that the movements are the different combinations of the synergies, or we can see that the synergies are the blocks building up the different movements. And this is also the main research in the lab. Uh, sorry, oh, this other devices, uh, mainly devices we use in our lab, um, we have the robotic arms. We just uh, got it. We just uh, got it this semester, and uh, we would like to use it to realize the uh, bell signal control, like the EG or EMG control. And for the motion uh, capturing, we have the um, motion tracking system. Like we have the sensors attached on the upper limb or even the trunk. And uh, for the hand movement capturing, we have the separate glove. Uh, to record the, the changes of the hand joint angles. And we also have the EMG system and the, the, or the EEG system to record the, the bell signals. And the perspective applications uh, of our system gets split to two aspects. One is motor control and there is motor learning. And for the motor control, we hope like our system could that realize to help those patient, uh, uh, people with uh, motor disabilities or movement disorders to restore their upper limb or hand movement. Like this, um, by using the exoskeleton, this one is uh, developed in our lab. And also like using the prosthetics, like the uh, robotic arms, like we just got it. 
and uh, even by using the EEG based uh, bridge meter interfaces. And also, we hope our system could also um, augment the motor control for the people with the special needs. And for the motor learning aspect, we hope um, rather than the traditional physical training, like our system could help to improve the neuromotor rehabilitation. And also uh, the system could help to accelerate the motor learning process. Uh, um, yeah, we have to thank to for all the organizations here uh, for providing the huge support for research. And uh, this is all, those are the uh, current researchers and grad researchers and they made a great effort in our lab. And uh, yeah, this uh, we have tour of a lab. Thank you.